This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right. So we got Saucy, Saucy Santana, okay, and uh, academics. So WAC 100 kind of got in the mix, okay, because he said, yo, I'm going to have one of these, uh, you know, academics re responded to the Queen Latifah thing and everything very maturely, I thought, today. And didn't really take the bait, said he's willing to have a discussion with Queen Latifah if she really feels that way, because she reposted something my son said. My son is obsessed with academics, point blank. So let's get to WAC 100 first. He had someone, he he got a, he has another guy that's like Saucy Santana that he's friends with, and he said, we might have to have Saucy Santana dealt with. Saucy Santana said something to bro, he can't deal with that. I need you to run the fade for me tonight. Because he gay. And you know, if we say something, we're going to be, we going to get in trouble. Denot, you openly gay. Can you run that fade? So you a beat, you listen. Saucy said. Yo, he's crazy. So they're saying they can't say anything about Sasha Santana because they will get you know, get canceled, you know, um, because of the community. But um, WAC 100 says, I got someone that can respond for us. Yeah. They're not going to run the fade. No, That's I it. Bet. Yo, Saucy, right, yeah. no more coming at act. They're not, my nigga from Clubhouse, he running the fade. They're not. Let them know what your tag is in case they want to look you up. Now, um, Saucy, Saucy Santana responded to this um, right here. This shit just get worse by the day. So now this bitch ass nigga, academic stone went and did a link up with WAC 100 and another powder puff girl sitting on the motherfucking couch, face full of motherfucking fear. And then you got WAC 100 calling another bisexual boy like he gonna do something to me. Bitch, who? who? Bitch, where? You done left one headquarters and went to another headquarters, but still ain't showing up in Miami, and I'm not going to see you no motherfucking where. So shut the fuck up. And I was going to leave you alone once you started motherfucking crying. But since you want to keep chatting and you done did a whole bad bitch link up, I got something for you. And WAC 100, you a bitch. That's why he came and found you. You a bitch ass nigga too. You was the manager that's in love with Blueface that was mad because Blueface go with Krishan, right? That's you. Mad at it. Let's really keep it a bean, though. The same way you go. Stop stop the gay boy narrative. We can't say nothing to him. All this cancel culture shit. It's plenty of things to say about me besides being gay. So y'all can stop that one right there. The See, no one has a problem with Sasha Nintendo being gay. It's just the whole, like, beard. It's just, it, it, it's the aggressiveness, too. Sasha Santana, like, I don't know, man. Sasha Santana jumped into it, though. <laughs> it's, it is, it's, I think Sasha Santana is entertaining. Okay, I have no problem with Sasha Santana. But it's like, come on, man. Like, this is, this is getting out of hand, you know? It's getting out of hand. <laughs> Some people in the comments are saying Santana's probably more manly than both of them. I need Saucy to have a podcast. This can't be all entertainment we get. You know, Saucy Santana would have a more successful podcast than Carisha. I'll tell you that much. Santana pulled an eight mile. He gave you all material to use on him and you're still crying. Oh, wait, wait, let me see. The same way you was fucking with a bitch about album sales and the same way you fuck with everybody else about how they music and their statistics, go do the same thing. I'm going to keep it 100. The last three songs I put out did not do well. The last three songs I put out did not do well. That plaque's still on the thing, though. But the last three songs ain't do well. You can go pick on my YouTube numbers. Go pick on my monthly listeners on Spotify. Go pick on my Apple streams. You could, you could, you could clown me as an artist like you do everybody else. Why the fuck is y'all got to stick up y'all ass like y'all don't know what to say back to me? Besides being gay. Being gay, we at the end of the day, we both got dicks. We two men, gay and straight. I beat your ass, I promise you. 
<laughs> That's it. I mean, it is kind of funny. I'm not saying like, like act like you shouldn't cancel act. Let 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 them just talk crap to each other. Come on, man. Like it's like whatever. You know, nobody's nobody needs to put hands on anybody. Ah, uh, anyways. Very both entertaining from both sides. That's all I could say. As long as nobody gets hurt, you know. This is Jordan Tao with JT News, uh, and I, I, I really strongly believe academics doesn't have anything personally against Hasi Santana. It's just that academics gets triggered fast, you know, and he got triggered. It is what it is. And plus, he's Jamaican, and you know, there's a whole thing there with the the. You know, you know what it is, <laughs> you know, where they don't like a certain lifestyle, you know, and they, they take it to another level in Jamaica, which is they're allowed, you know, that's their culture, you know, um, I've dated plenty of Jamaican girls that feel that way, you know, and they, they, it's, it's a thing. It's definitely a thing. This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Peace.